hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is Hitesh and I'm back with another product modeling tutorial so in this one we are going to model this honey jar product and we're going to finish the entire from modeling to rendering tutorial in this one video so I'm going to start with the, the modeling process and I'm going to use a cylinder for this And as you can see that we have these sharp uh, corners of this jar peripheral. So I'm going to take uh, subdivisions of axis to something like 8 or 10. Now we don't have exact measurement of the jar so I think I'll just choose whatever I feel right. Or oh, you can also look up on the internet for the dimensions and I'm going to go to face mode and I'm going to just delete the faces on the top and the bottom And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just select all the edges like this and we need to add few segments here. Like this and let's go here or I'll just go to vertex mode and I'm going to select the vertices like this make sure you deselect the vertices on the bottom and we have to also deselect the corners and just pull these up now we need to select the vertex in the middle of all these segments now you can also just keep one part and delete rest of them then use duplicate special to recreate your mesh but I think this should also work and I'm going to pull these vertices up make sure we have this arc here like this and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just extrude this then scale this down and place it like this and one more thing we need to again extrude a little here and now I'm going to just select this edge bevel turn the chamfer off and repeat the same process down here Also, I'm going to select all the hard edges on the corners like this. Now we need to maintain the hardness of these edges. So I'm going to bevel these and a little bit of friction. Now we need to manage this top part. So if I press three and see it in smooth preview, You'll see that we have the sharp edges on the top as well and we don't want these edges there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take target weld tool and merge them like this. And I'm going to repeat the same thing down here. and you can also remove this to make this a quad so 
so if i press 3 we don't see any hard edges down here or up on this part now i'm going to just select this segment and invert selection and i'm going to delete the rest of it and now we can use duplicate special or you can press just shift t and place all the replicates like this and combine them i'm going to go to vertex mode select all the vertices and merge increase the threshold just a little bit and now everything looks perfect now you can close this we'll do it in a minute and uh, i'm going to just go to edit mesh and use secularize to fix this top part pull this up a little and i'm going to go to vertex mode and select similar pull these vertices up just a little bit and let's close this again i'm going to go to edit mesh secularize and now you can either go to bottom view and use this fill hole and then using multi cut tool you can connect like this and convert this entire segment to core polygons and we are good now we need to create the faces of the inside and for that what you can do is uh, i'm going to just uh, create a duplicate of this so i'm going to press ctrl d and then we are going to just make it a little bit smaller like this and i'm going to use the vertex and pull these up maybe a little bit bigger something like this and let's combine them now i'm going to select the edge up here and extrude and then scale to bring them on the same level like this and now we can just bridge this and if it doesn't work then what you can do is uh, i'm going to just separate this select this and let's go to mesh display and reverse the normals and now let's try to bridge and this works perfectly i'm going to add few loops here like this and let's select these two edges add a little bit of bevel and maybe we can repeat the same thing here and now let's see how it looks all right so this looks good and what i'm going to do is i'm going to just go to edit delete by type history 
and rename this and now let's create a cap so for the cap what i'm going to do is i'm going to take another cylinder and place this up here and i'm going to take subdivision again eight or you can increase this time so let's take something like 16 i'm going to add a little bit of radius and turn down the height now i'm going to go to face mode select the faces and extrude for top view and just make sure that it aligns with the jar Now isolate it and go to face mode. I'm going to intrude this. And same thing for the top. Now let's select the edges here and I'm going to add a bit of friction like this and for this part let's select the edges bevel Alright, so I think I'm done with this part. So this also looks good. Or maybe we can pull this up a little bit. I'm going to just make it a little bit more taller. right so we are done with this i'm going to go to edit delete delete by type history and rename now you also need to model the honey inside the jar what i'm going to do is i'm going to just hide this and go here and i'm going to go to face mode select the four faces in the middle and just grow my selection I think this much should be fine and I'm going to use duplicate faces and go to edit delete by type history and I'm going to ungroup this so we have the honey and we have jar So now let's create the materials for our model and I'm going to unhide everything. So for our honey, 
I'm going to use channel box bring this out and I'm going to remove some unnecessary edges now I'm going to select this go to mesh display and use reverse the normals and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here as you can see that we have some black patches I'm going to go to face mode select this maybe select the faces down here and grow selection delete I'm going to just extrude a little bit select these three merge to center and I'm going to repeat the same thing with the other corner vertices. It's not necessary to do this since this is just the part inside, it is going to apply a material but i'm going to reduce the number of edges here so that we have an easy access and now i'm going to again extrude go to edit mesh circularize and just merge to center now i'm going to again go to Edit, delete by type history. Assign a new material here. Go to Arnold and standard surface. I'm going to rename this honey material. And this one. Glass material. And this is our cap. So for this, uh, I'm going to go to my presets, go to honey and replace. And I'm going to repeat the same thing with this. So I'm going to take the glass for this and let's place this inside. So I'm going to just change the value to zero. Let's create a camera. I'm going to keep this in a group, place it up on the grid and just place my camera like this. I'm going to lock it for now. I'm going to go to Arnold settings. Change my render device to GPU and increase the camera samples. Also my image size. Now let's go to Arnold light and I'm going to use the sky dome for a render test. So let's go to attribute editor and I have an HDRI image. So I'm going to use that. I'll also take a plane and just extrude a little bit for the background. Now let's go to Arnold and click on render. 
change the camera to camera shape one so this is our render we need to rotate our background and as you can see that we have some weird patches here in our material what i'm going to do is i'm going to select my honey mesh and just scale this down so that it doesn't overlap our jar mesh And for our cap, I'm going to assign other material on our surface and uh, we can use a brushed metal for this. Maybe a little bit lighter. Now you can also go to your honey and uh, let's change the color a little and I'm going to make this a little bit yellowish. Maybe something like this. So that's our test render and I'm going to use a three point lighting system which I've showed in my other videos as well. So I'm going to use the area light to light up my scene and I'll show you the final render in this video. So this is the scene setup I've done with a wooden log and an HDRI image. So I just placed my model on this log and added few area lights and that's it that's our final output so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching